Hi and welcome to Digital General. Uh, we're going to be doing a another playthrough of the Ultimate General Gettysburg campaign and this time on the Union side. I had a lot of fun playing the Confederate campaign and so I thought that I'd want to see how well the AI will attack. Obviously as the Confederates I was able to keep the initiative and basically force the AI to defend or play the role of the defender which uh, is a little bit easier so I'm curious to see what it'll do when uh, it's forced to attack and I can sit there with artillery and, and kind of bombard it. So let's get into the game and for the AI itself I want to go max difficulty but do dynamic aggressiveness because I think that uh, that's a better representation of the kind of uh, confederate uh, stance. They weren't over the aggressive, they were I would call it balanced aggressive. Uh, at the same time I think that the super aggressive AI can be uh, too aggressive and basically give itself way too many losses and to, uh, essentially put itself out of the game. So I think dynamic is actually uh, the better place to be. Alright, we're in game scenario one, so this is the, uh, the early days of July 1st meeting, and now that I'm on the other side, uh, the tables have turned, so I will be defending with fewer soldiers than, than are attacking me, and it's mostly pieces of uh, First Corps that'll arrive at some point, and I'm just starting with uh, Beaver's Cavalry, which can um, run interference basically on the Confederates. And what I'm facing is the Third third Corps, which will come in and do that reconnaissance and strength. Let's pause and take a quick look at the map. So, what I'm given to Defender are obviously the same three points as in the previous playthrough, and we know that uh, our first car will be arriving midway through the battle from the from south. That's just uh, what uh, commanders know. So Beaufort has to uh, stop as much as he can from the Confederates and basically not let them not let them push through and, and uh, take the northern parts of uh, Gettysburg. Uh, so battle wise. Yeah, I'm going to push, start pulling back. Skirmishers are fine, they can just harass for now. And we'll just pull back as needed. Uh, because we know that we have to, so... There's no way that, not, no way that we can uh, use the skirmishers to stop all of this that's advancing here. Cavalry is, as I was talking about in the previous game, it's not really that good at attacking, so I think I want to just pull them aside. Uh, this cavalry can go here, and I, I'll use them to scout, because I, I do want to know how the Confederate army will be advancing, so, so I'm not going to throw them into a needless, needless battle, and I just want to use them to give me some eyes and see. Davis has kind of run into my skirmishers, which is in the artillery, which is good. So he has to now reconsider, and I can establish a defensive line on the ridge.
here. So this artillery. Ah, oh, shoot! I was paying attention to the cavalry, and I missed that artillery was getting chewed up. But first corps is here, and it's running. So um, let's first thing first. Let's put them on the ridge. Run. And the iron brigade. Let's put them on this ridge and run as well. Stop the vedettes. So Davis is obviously really keen to take this ridge, and that's okay. He can for now. I might be able to push him off later. Let's make sure my skirmishers are facing the right way. In cover, and we can be okay. Alright, things just got shattered a little bit, so let's just get them on the hill. artillery that's fleeing now would have been really, really useful. I'm kind of uh, annoyed at myself that I totally missed what was happening. Uh, I wonder if I can put the cavalry in this guy's flank and do a little bit of that kind of harassment. Alright, skirmishers are under morale, but the, their general is present, so I should be able to up to their flank with my cavalry and give them a bit of morale shock, maybe break them. Especially once I get uh, the Iron Brigade on the hill. The key thing with uh, this early engagement is that I do need to push back Confederates with uh, inflicting a lot of losses to them so that their their units are, are, are dulled for, for later engagements. Uh, if they're too fresh, then it's just going to be super hard. Oh, there we go. Archer breaks. Which is great. is there. Let's see if I can get Heath's skirmishers out of there as well. Okay. Um, okay, this is a one star brigade, so I can put them on the hill and just let them defend. And Bucktail is really strong, so I want Bucktail to be up here. Lots of cover, lots of cover, that's fine. I'm not, uh, it should be okay. And I'll, I'll, if I have some additional brigades backing me up, then I can cycle my troops. Alright, these guys are getting uh, attacked, so let's build, pull them back. I, I don't want them to break. Needlessly. I basically want uh, Devin to sit here and threaten the hill a little bit just so so if Davis stays on this victory point I'm, I'm fine with that. All right we're gonna get some artillery great. And these guys can actually run so can they I, I think I have time to run them in and then rest them a little bit I don't mind doing that at all. So we can push the skirmishers out with Cutler. All right let's get these guys here because if Cutler's going to be flanked, then I want him to be protected as well by my old flanking units. Okay, now 
turn cutler to face the threat of Davis. Get my skirmishers on, into his flank as well. Get my videttes on his on his tail. Bucktail can stop running. And now just provide a pre provide a presence on the hill. All right, artillery, excellent. So we need to set up uh, a solid defensive artillery line here. Okay, looks like looks like I do need to support the southern flank. Uh, there's a strong Confederate attack here. That uh, I need to be able to stop. He's really trying to flank me south hard. That's interesting and a cool tactic, so I wonder what happens. Yeah, let's get the skirmishers out here a bit more. But that's where the action is. Let's get our, our general down here. And let's get the skirmishers down here too. Too far. And got rabbits. So he caught me nicely. That's very annoying. Okay, that's another one. Star Brigade, let's push them up here. That's a two star. Let's get them on the hill. Archer, whoops, uh, he's still here. Archer broke, that's great. For the second time, so he's taken significant losses. I don't think he'll do too much more during this uh, during this game. Now Devin is, is annoying Confederate side by taking this, this point. I'm saving my uh, best brigade, Iron Brigade, for now, and that's okay because they'll be needed to repel this. And in the meantime, I can engage Davis on both sides. Bucktail and, and Cutler, and they're both pretty solid brigades, so, so this should be in my favor. Brock and Bro is run running into my guns, which is making a flee, that's great, and there's more Confeder Confederates coming on this side. That's to just put some flanking shots into uh, Davis. Nothing crazy, just uh, just frustrate him. Because my goal is to break him before this mask gets here. And now that that's been taken care of, I think I'll need back to the hill. Others to face the, the main charge. Uh, this is unfortunate, but Davis has to be contained by uh, Bucktail, which is asking for quite a bit, but he has been fighting for a while now. Uh, so I'm hoping that he can hold a bit longer and actually back to the back of the Shift a bit more artillery. 
seems like the main charge is now coming back to peak here. Let's get the death back on the point. And Cutler has to hold as well. Now they're in great cover, but... That does not mean that uh, they will fill it, that they will be able to hold. Let's go a little bit. Okay, Davis is wavering. That's excellent news for me. Because as soon as he breaks, then I can reinforce my ridge. taking back this victory point too, which is nice. The Archer is kind of trying to get back to the action, but not much is going to happen. But I have a lot of forces here. I wonder if I can do a bit of a flanking maneuver. And, uh, even though it's a one-star brigade, it's actually not very good, but it has quite a lot of men. And so I'll pedig not pedigree someone else who broke. That's great. Okay, Bucktail broke. That's bad news, because now Baxter is outnumbered. Critical that the Davis gets uh, taken out. Okay, rock and roll broke, or I have to pull back, so that's great news. And Biddle is holding, and this attack is stalling a little bit, so that's great. So, yeah, Perrin is now pushing back. So we'll kill ours now, or is changing hands. Uh, that's great. Okay, let's put the skirmishers back here, but Campbell's skirmishers may be able to provide a little bit of more fire into Davis. Get okay, Bucktail rallied. And actually, I might be able to go flank. Like, they, their morale is at 41, which is not low, and it's a two-star brigade, so... Baxter folds. Okay, and that means now Cutler can go in and turn and face Davis because this flank is freed up. Okay, he's holding. Paul's holding. Now, I'm trying to see if I can take Rock and Roll in the fleet just with the amount of fire that's coming down at him. Okay, good. Cutler is now engaging Davis. Uh, they're in a good shape. And get the deaths in here too so that they bring them more like fire. I really want to slaughter Davis because uh, he put himself really overexposed. And uh, if I can cause enough casualties, then that's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's push back onto the hill. I don't want to have Paul exposed to all, all this artillery fire. I'd rather focus on causing casualties uh, here to these really valuable brigades and saving my troops for later. Because we know this is going to be a long haul. broken is good news for me. So he's now going to run through my ranks and hopefully take monster casualties. Alright, this flank's good. So let's shift this battery up. Let's get Devin up here again. Scale 
as it's trying to come up here. Davis actually isn't losing that many uh, units running through my guys, which is a little funny. Oh no, there, now he is. Because he took some case shot. Uh, just want to make sure that he's out of the, the scenario for sure. I do not want to see him again. Okay, these skirmishers can come up here with the other skirmishers and do some skirmishing, like skirmishers shoot. The scales is probably going to be able to push back my, my cavalry, so. Brigade's still pretty solid, that's great news, and I will auto add some kind of cannon so that it can properly engage with the enemy. Yeah, Davis is already kind of starting to rally, so he's it's still dangerous. It's um, so it's a pretty scary brigade. But let's get our general up here. Because uh, the south side is looking good, and I'm not sure the north side is here. So be afraid it's still alive. That's one of the things that as I was saying, uh, we find if it was incorporated somehow that uh, leaders could get taken out. Maybe if there was heavy fight fighting. Oh, Cutler, you've got a face. Turn and face, buddy. Is that that uh, very much what happened? Is these brigades would go through these uh, meat grinders, and then the opening officers would get killed, and their effectiveness would just go way down. Support your troops. Okay, Davis, yeah, he's got no punching power left. He's got the men, but uh, he just took too many losses. Alright, so scale uh, cutler can go up there. So we've got another couple of thousand, three thousand plus troops coming in up here. Pettigrew and Lane, so they're... I, I will need some fresh guys, so let me shift Biddle. I don't remember if Scales took that much fire, but I think he did, so hopefully Scales will be not very strong either. So let me get some skirmishers up there. Oh, oh, my horse is getting caught again. They're so fragile, so fragile. Alright, before you follow your skirmishers, because your cavalry's gone. Okay, Bucktail can move up a little bit, uh, because it's, it will be needed to troops. Do I have more? Yeah, I can get more artillery up there. Alright, Biddle, you get, get up on that ridge. You got to hold, buddy. Hold. So we're done. Uh, minor victory. I didn't manage to get that uh, last point back. It was close, but couldn't quite do it. So it's a minor victory. And he lost his uh, two and a half and 4.5 Confederate. So that's uh, a good beginning to, to the campaign uh, because I managed to kill kind of twice the troops, and it'll be difficult for Confederates to replace them. So, I, so yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Good losses, so yeah, all the Confederate brigades lost way more, and looking at the order of battle for my enemy. Uh, so his division took pretty solid pounding, which is great. Uh, that's exactly what I needed to see because they'll keep coming. All right. 
thanks for watching, and I'll see you on uh, the next one.